Okay, Andrew, here we go. Firstly, thank you so much for your patience. I, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. I really, really do. Okay, we've got ourselves an original 6105. I like this sort of the ghosted bezel, actually. It's kind of cool. Huh. Your pip is still there. Uh, it's just the loom is gone. You got a flat type type 3 in here, which is not one anyone recreates, but it's still pretty neat. I'd put a 2 in it myself. It's right at the transition, uh, August 75. It's right at the tradition between transition between the Type 2 and the Type 3. Okay. Hmm. So we're going to clean up these hands. I have a lot more techniques available to me now than when this came in. So we're actually, it's a good thing for you that we, um, it's a good thing for you that we, that, we're, that I'm only getting to this now. Because in the old days, uh, I don't know, I might have relumed these hands. I don't know, everything depends. When I put, when I go through the cleaning, when I go through cleaning on these, this black stuff that's around, especially like the minute hand there, that might go down to brass. Sometimes they get clean. We'll see. The tops of your markers are good. I can clean up that loom. Yeah. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I don't think that's going to be a problem too much. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Mm -hmm. well, we have lots of servicing marks. It's always fun. Lots and lots of sir one. Ricky, it says, in 2008, wherever the heck Ricky was. Now I see. One, two, three, four, five, six servicing marks. Hmm. Well, Ricky, on the 17th of December, 2008, I don't know who you are. But I'll tell you this for nothing, you didn't swap out that case back seal. That is original. Gosh, that's amazing. Oh yeah, that's original. Get out. Well, sailing surface looks decent. Isn't that amazing? This used to be a regular O-ring gasket, not a flat one. Look at that. All right. We obviously had a little moisture in here, right there. See, we got some scunge. Uh, you looks like your. We definitely got some corrosion in here. Yeah, most of your, most of your movement ring spring is missing. There's pieces of it, but yeah, that's that's junk. So, I mean, that that's going to require some work. Uh-huh. Somebody put an orange text 6119 bridge into this thing. It's exactly the same as the 6105. It's just uh it's just the orange text shows that it came from a different thing. So whoever did this, they didn't want to bother changing out just the balance. They didn't perhaps feel confident in that or whatever. And so they just swapped over the whole assembly. Though I do see that this stud is too low. They didn't put this in the correct place. Yeah. Or if you hear yelling and screaming, kids are playing around in the backyard, doing what kids do. I guess it's a good thing we have a backyard, right? Yeah, 
Uh, got your whale snot, whale snot, whale snot. We got your whale snot here. So we've got some degradation going on the bottom of your winding weight. I will have to see about that. Let's pull that. Framework with ball bearing. I don't know why in the god dang hell Seiko called it that. I'm just, wouldn't it wouldn't be easier to call it the winding bridge. I don't know. Who knows? Winding plate. I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody tells me anything. Part because we're here. If y'all want to hear an unusual song, go to Spotify or whatever and listen to Alt J. That's A A L A L T slash J. Alt J, and they do a version of. You're going to laugh. House the Rising Sun. But you wouldn't know it, except by listening to the lyrics. Because it is... It doesn't sound anything like... Like Eric Burden and the Animals. It's just... Uh, it's... Dreamlike. Okay. I don't know what's going on with that. So, I am going to be very suspicious about what... Darn it. What I'm going to find about the balance here. That always makes me a little nervous. I mean, because it's sort of a cheap way, a quick, a quickie way to try to make things better that you see. Oh, and not only that, it's not even... Notice that the this plate is the has the beveled side. These came in two varieties, beveled and sharp, so or square. And this one is a square, so that's sharp. If it were me, I would put this... I would basically put it back the way it's supposed to be. Not with the 6119, but with this proper 6105 with the bevel. That's what I would do. Yikes. Really? Well, that's a little floppy. I've seen worse. That's almost always true. I've almost always seen worse. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. There we are. We will see how those hands come out. We will see. I don't honestly know right at this exact minute, but we will see. Okay, hands are off. Yeah. Your dial markings are good. And again, the tops of the, uh, oh, your, your ring is shattering. I'll, that, that happens. Can opinion feels okay? Yeah, I should be able to clean up that dial pretty well. Okay, let's get that dial off of there. Yeah, your, your ring is doing that, your dial ring is doing that thing. Shattering. broken and it's missing a part of the edges. So, part number two. Interestingly, your dial is from April 1973. So I would say that that is a service dial. It's a replacement because the case back is from August 1975. <clears throat> so that's a replacement. And yet it's still got water in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. There we are. Yep, whale snot. You get water inside and it pulls out the copper out of the alloy of the weight. Get out of there. Wow. <laughs> Arbor port's pretty worn. Train runs. That's good news. Yeah, it's so the Mainspring Arbor port is so worn that you can see that the the I don't well actually I don't know that you can see it. The the teeth of the barrel are interacting at kind of the wrong point on the the center, darn it, on the center wheel. Okay, you see these right here? There's the teeth right there, those are the teeth of the barrel, and there's the teeth right there for the center wheel. The barrel is supposed to match right up to the top, right up to the top, and it's down below, and it changes the angle of attack. It's just the way it goes. Way of the road, bubs. Way she goes. Mm. And we got us some grossness on there. I don't want to hand clean that yet. Yeah, it's starting to eat into the plate. Yeah, it's starting to look at the look. It's hitting the underside of the train bridge too because it's tipping so much. Mm, pretty typical. I gotta clean. Oops, sorry. I gotta clean these, and then it looks like we got some corrosion around that pinion right there, right around the tip of that pinion. Right there, that little band of corrosion. That's where the lubrication is supposed to sit, and uh, if that is there. Uh, we got some corrosion on the tip of the third wheel. On that pinion right there, there's some corrosion. And what the corrosion does is it makes the surface not smooth. And so that it'll eat up um, it'll eat up uh, amplitude like crazy. And you can't really polish them because that removes metal and you need to burnish them, but I don't know. So, we might have a couple wheels out there what need replacing. Yeah. Easy as hell. Yeah, well, I mean, come on. Am I surprised? Of course not. Darn it. Okay. Oh, I don't even know what time it is. I, 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 I don't. I guess I could look at a clock, but oh my God, you have no idea what it took to achieve what you're seeing right here. Corrosion everywhere little tiny bits and all the pivots and everything else like this and it just would not relent but it's now running well I mean it was running before it's just running really 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 badly um, let me look at the numbers okay I just I just popped it on there there it is 
Oh, I can't believe it. What a miracle. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a blessing. I can't believe it. Oh, that was so much work. That was so much work to achieve. Whew. Oh, my God, it is... Oh, man, it's after my bedtime. But I did something right. Look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I had to adjust end shakes and polish pivots and do all this crazy stuff. There was all this interference. Oh, oh, that makes my heart so happy. Oh, that took so much work. Oh my gosh. That took so much work. I guess, uh, why don't I adjust it? I mean, it's running, so let me, let me get that adjusted. So I'm going to pull this over here. Oh, God, I'm going to adjust this. Boy, I'm going to go upstairs and turn off my brain. Okay, we have almost no beat error. And we are gaining a little bit of time, so I'm going to adjust this. And try to take out that beat error and see what happens. It was amazing adjusting the hairspring and yeah. Okay, I'm I'm dialing in the B error here. Which I'm gonna be getting. day. Oh, my Lord. What a day. And get rid of that last bit of beat error. See, because I'd get good numbers and things would be okay, and then it would, it would just start dropping off on me, and I'd start getting all this interference and. I just want to get it to a steady state. That's all I want. Okay, I'm 
I'm going to try one more time to get rid of that little bit of beat air. got us a little more beat air. Come on. The problem is, is it's been a really long day and I'm kind of punchy. We're getting to the point of law of diminishing returns. Look at those numbers. Oof. Let me try and get that accuracy down a little bit. screaming at everybody. Stop it, stop it, says Sabrina. Come on. It, I mean, this hairspring, I do all kinds of wacky stuff to get it to behave. Oh, did I get it? Whoever this dude was, Ricky, I think he was the last person to work on this watch. He didn't do any of us any favors. I'll tell you that for nothing. I'm going to let this run in overnight. Oh, God knows morning's coming soon enough. Um, yeah, good old Ricky. He did a number. Jesus. That's looking okay. It's a little noisy. I, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. She must be trying to get him into bed. God, she's been running the whole house the entire day and the night. We got a pretty steady state here, so I'm gonna let it be. I'm just gonna let it run in overnight. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I want to go to bed or go upstairs, put my brain to bed, at the very least. Okay, that's it. Uh, it's even later. Uh, these are some of the best sustained numbers I've ever gotten out of a 16105. I flipped it over, it's it's running. I don't have the calendar side bolted in place, but um, it usually makes me a little nervous when I start seeing numbers that high, because they shouldn't be that high, and that normally means that this, that's just, that's some kind of craziness. Fires are not supposed to run that hot, so something's up. Um, 
Well, I guess I'll see what the numbers look like tomorrow morning. I mean, granted, I did a lot of work, but I've never seen a 6105 run up to 300. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going upstairs. I'm losing my mind. Okay, it is tomorrow morning. Well, no, it's this morning. Yesterday was yesterday evening, and today is this morning. Nice and bright. That's some pretty good numbers. Uh, I'm going to assemble the... I'm going to build the rest of the movement, and then I'm going to test to see what it does when it's at full wind. I, I have a funky feeling that that uh, mainspring is too hot. Uh, we'll check it. Uh, let me put it together, and we'll see. Oh, my Lord. Okay, this is a long day later. But I am finally getting consistent numbers that I am happy with. Boy, gosh. Um, in the end, I just had to give up on that balance. It was... Your original balance was, was jacked up. Yeah, I straightened the hairspring and all that stuff. But the pivot was worn in some really weird ways. And I was getting... I was getting end shake and side to side. And in certain positions, the amplitude was far too high to the point that it started overbanking. And in other positions, it would just stop. So, and I, I couldn't... There, when you have issues with water in a movement, it does all kinds of crazy damage. And you have to basically chase it all down, all of it, and just get it to the point that... It doesn't have any more question marks and everything is doing what it should. So, I mean, I know it was impressive seeing a 6105 movement hit 300 for amplitude, but that's just wrong. It just should not happen. And, um, it's, it, it, the watch would not continue to run and it didn't run in certain positions, but so we have a new balance on there. And since I was doing a new balance, I said, well, what the heck, might as well get the correct 6105 beveled edge. Uh, balance cock and so that's what we did and you can see we're getting very nice consistent numbers and that's exactly what we want we don't want we don't want to blow the doors off this thing isn't a drag racer we want slow and steady and clean so i think i've been through this movement i don't 10 times just chasing down all the weird little gremlins Yeah, good, clean numbers already. Okay, working on the hands. Hands are improving. Dial is on the movement. Numbers are steady. So now it is time to finally rebuild your crown. So there's your crown. There's the new seal, the new one. Uh, your old one came out in pieces. That's what happens. So, but everything else is super shiny, sparkly clean. We can put this thing together. And there we go. It went together very neatly. It's always nice to be able to do these. I, I, I take a lot of pride in this. There's your crown, all clean. Nice new seal inside. That's awesome. Always makes me so happy to do that. So we can. Always fun to test a little bit. Let's get some, get a little bit of silicone grease in there. Okay, it drops in beautifully. It is flush with the case. Your crown is not locking. Oh well, that would be why your peg is completely rusted away. If I can get that stump out, I'll make a new one. Okay, the remains of the the remains of the thing are out. It was literally just rust. It just I I had to I had to modify a uh, drill bit to be the right diameter, but I got it out and it came right out. Yeah, the stuff is like literally brown dust. Here's some of the stuff that was inside that. Yikes. Now I get to make 
a new pin out of uh, out of um, ugh, my staff staff material to make the staff. It's a blue steel. Okay, I am really <clears throat> closing in on the end here. I never anticipated it would take me a, another basic full day to get this done. Uh, working on your hands. Well, actually, I worked past tense on your hands. These are your original hands with the original loom. They're still a little darkened on the front, but I would like to think that you would agree that they are massively improved. Uh, there was a little bit of plating loss around the windows, not terrible. This dark spot right here, that's there to stay. I mean, I could get nuclear on it, but I, don't, I really don't want to. Um, here's your original sweep hand with your original loom, including your original pink stoplight. That I'm very proud of, the pink stoplight, because that's your original pink stoplight. Uh, this is a trick I can do, because a lot of times the damage is just on the front, and so you can, that's small enough that the loom is strong enough to hold together, you can pop this out and flip it. So that's actually the back side of it that was not damaged by the moisture. Isn't that neat? That is original. Here's your case with the redone loom in your pip. Uh, the bezel turning action is very nice. Um, there was pitting underneath, uh, but nothing on the ceiling surfaces. Uh, there is your new, there's your new pin in the case right there, and your crown goes right in, and it now locks as it should. So, every day, in every way, better and better. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to hit the final assembly. Okay. Hands are in place. She is a running. Um, your dial cleaned up. Well, it still should, I remember like this was like black. Uh, this one was pretty gnarly too. Um, in order to really if I, it, there comes a point where there's only so much you can do without really digging in. So I got rid of the black flecks that were on top of the, that were on top of the edges. Thankfully, it didn't really corrode through any of those points. And the worst that it did is it stripped off some of the, some of the frosted finish, which is just like a, basically a little, you know, matte enamel. So I went around it and I repaired that because I have a, a matte uh, hobby paint uh, enamel that that replicates this. Uh, one thing, my heart stopped. There's a little teeny mark on the dial right there. Ah, there you go. You can see it. It's right there. And I had a heart attack. I thought that I had done that, and uh, which would be atypical for me, but I went back and I carefully reviewed the video and the pictures from before I took the watch apart, and it's there. So whoever Ricky was that did all this work on this in the, with the strange stuff, he put that there. Um, so it's just something to be aware of. I didn't want you to be like, ah, I, I don't think it's particularly visible, um, but it is there. Okay, we are getting out of the point that we can put our back together. Um, I tried to save anything from your original movement ring, and it's just, it's junk. I can't even get the pieces of the spring out of the thing. They're just seized in. So, we have new old stock, genuine, the real deal, just like that. Um, on your case back, you have, you have some areas of pitting from the corrosion. Nothing major. It's not on the real, the hardcore ceiling surfaces, which is a little bit further in, but be careful. I would just be careful. Okay, you will remember that your winding weight had what I called whale snot on it. There's the pitting from that, but the metal underneath it is pretty solid. So that came off, and I am... Normally I would advocate replacing this, but I'm not going to do that. Um... I think this is okay. I don't want to put any kind of sealer over it, because that could come off in the movement. So I'm just going to... I'm. It, well, if this were my watch, I would just leave the weight. 
So that, my friend, is what I'm going to do. Oh dear. My goodness gracious. It's nice and smooth. Winning weight's nice and smooth. Yep. All right. So, let me cap it. Poof! And at long last, here it is. So, definitely still shows its history. It's much cleaner, obviously. It functions as it should now. I don't know. It's just... I'm thinking about how many of these got reloomed in the old days when they could have been saved. So this is cleaned up. I don't know, I'm just kind of ro wrapping my head around all the things I had to do to bring this watch back. I like I can't even mentally list off all the, after, at a certain point you're doing so many things that it just turns into a blur. Um, I've got your stuff here. There's your complete balance with your hairspring. There's the whole gosh darn thing right there. Uh, there's the third wheel here. The, it's got the seals, the crystal, the broken dial ring. Um, the old spring bars that were in there, the movement ring spring, uh, there's half of your crown gasket. So you'll have all this stuff and you can play with it. Or the corrosion remediation, repairing the, the locking post, relooming this pip, cleaning the hands, cleaning the dial. Mainspring Arbor Ports, and then I had to go in and out and in and out and in and out of this thing to chase down all the little gremlins from moisture and from work that wasn't done correctly. In any case, I'm excited for you to get it back. Thank you again for your patience. I very much appreciate it. This is a, I, I very much look forward to you getting this back. So thank you so much.